Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a, a Hydra stage box. Um, on my last video, um, and this is on the Coward 3036. On my last video, we did the local I.O. We had Tone running through the local I.O. Um, we set up a main output fader, and we had Tone running out of a speaker. So um, today we're gonna do the, 30, the Hydra 32 by 32. Here's the stage box. We have it in a rack that just came off of the show. So you're gonna notice nothing's plugged into this box currently. And we have a flashing light on status four. This shows version four. We have uh, ports one and ports two. There's nothing there because they're not getting any data because nothing's plugged in. And then uh, we have this sticker here. Uh, someone made ID 132. That is the ID number that they've decided on. And these ID numbers actually, they just can't be the same. And what it's actually referring to is the last octet in the IP address. But uh, Comrec has decided that the consumer does not need to actually worry about a full IP address, just the last octet. So all we have to worry about is make sure that if you have multiple boxes, that they're not on the same um, last octet. They have to be different numbers, that's all. Um, there's really actually no, nothing to it. Very simple. So we're gonna come to the back here and there's a lot going on because like I said, this just came off the show. And what's important to look at are these two pieces of fiber here. And in there, it says fiber port one and fiber port two. You can't see it, but it's fiber port one, fiber port two. And what we have happening is this fiber, each one is running up to here and it's a primary and secondary. So fiber port one is primary, fiber port two is secondary. And all we're doing is just, this is a just a piece of glass so that we're passing through, make it professional. But in any instance, you can run straight into there and it'll work out, no problem. We're just gonna run through this. So we're gonna take our primary and we're gonna tie that in to the back of the Brio. Right here, where it says primary, secondary, Hydra two. We don't wanna worry about anything else. This is for other stuff. So we're gonna plug in we always want to start with our primary, it makes everything happy. Um, and we're going to see a flashing uh, light. And this shows that data is now being passed. We're going to go to the front. And look at that. We have data being passed on port one. It's happy. Two is flashing. And we have two red lights. The red lights actually mean that things are consistent and happy. We're going to go plug in the second one. And in this case, the fiber pieces have been uh, stripped on purpose for something else. So if it doesn't work at first, we're gonna have to flip them around. It's really not a big deal. We just have to make sure that they're facing the right way on both sides. And you're gonna see that they're actually indeed not working currently. So I'm gonna literally flip these two. Put one on the other side and this one on the other side. You see it already started flashing because it started to be happy. Boom, we're in, slow flashing now, very happy. We're gonna go back to the front. Very happy. Uh, both ports are blinking, everything's blinking. We have three solid red lights, which is what you want. They want these three solid red lights. Now this ID 132, how do we set that ID? There's actually a dip switch, um, and it's very hard to see right now. It's underneath these, there's a red, uh, there's a red little bar, and that is a dip switch, and it's it, it goes in the typical code. Um, you know, dip switch one is one, dip switch two is two, three is gonna be equal to four, and then the fourth one would be equal to eight, the fifth one would be equal to 16, so on and so forth. And that is how you add those numbers up. If you flip it up, you've just added that number, and you just make sure that the ID is different than the other ones. So at this point, we're gonna go to our console, and you don't even need to access any web GUI, nothing. That's the best part about this. They made this very, very simple. Um, you're gonna notice that we're, uh, our status is yellow, that is actually because we just added a box and it's all going crazy. Um, sometimes it's easy to get ri rid of this. Sometimes it's uh, a pain in the butt. And if that's the case, then you might have to just restart the, um, the console and then it'll, it'll be happy once everything's plugged in. It doesn't like to just be adding things nonstop. It will still work, just the user will go, oh my God, I think something's wrong. So in this case, we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go to IO patching um, and we're going to this is the same as the other video. If you didn't watch the other video, it might make some sense to go back because this might, I might go a little faster. But in any case, we want to do an input off of that box, right? So I'm going to hit IO boxes because we want to do off that box. And what we have here is Mike Lion 32 slash 32, right? Box ID 32. Boom. I'm going to hit that. And now it's showing all the inputs off that box. So 132 is ID number, 02 is that channel and 03, 04, 05, 06, so on and so forth. It actually goes all the way down. Um, channel one, I believe, actually had patched earlier, so that's why it's not currently here. But we don't gotta worry about that. We'll use channel two, okay? 
Then we're gonna go to desk inputs, as shown in the previous video. This is our um, inputs on the on the console, and we made channel one earlier, and, and that's being used by the local I/O. Um, this time, let's do it with channel three. So we're gonna make that channel real quick, just nice and fast. Channel three, add, go to new. We'll make it another mono. You just created channel three, another mono. Go to I/O patching. You'll see channel 3A, 3B, we'll get into that later, but we're just always focused on A. So three, click it, click channel, which will keep it linear. So channel three, so they're both highlighted. We're gonna connect and voila, that easy, that simple. Now I'm going to take that cue box that I did last time. I'm gonna plug into the box on channel three so that you guys can see that we are getting that, uh, that input. And I do wanna show real quick that on channel three it says 13203 because 132 is that box id 03 is that channel so i'm gonna now this is a if you guys haven't worked with this before basically we had to use those big fat gray connectors to tie into our little patch bay here um not all the io boxes are like this so if you don't have this then that's great i'm gonna plug into three i have tone running i'm gonna come back and you'll see you now have tone on three. And when we put this up, nothing will go to main. Just real quick, we're gonna access this. We're going to go to access on the screen on the left-hand side. We'll go, and if we run on this page, we would go to the left side for our routing. There's main routing. We'll choose main one, we'll turn on. And you'll see as I turn this up, we're gonna hear tone. And we should see signal coming through and there it is as you see everything's working and that is how you connect a hydro stage box straight into the brio if you want to do more than one stage box and you need multiple there is a hydro hub that is a different video so you'll have to see that one but also the same concept very simple just make sure that you have different ids um, they made this really easy on purpose so check it out guys when you can thank you